Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Shadira Madison Sky Makeup here with a flawless makeup routine. Um, actually my, I think my first um, time actually doing a makeup routine and trying to sneak through the entire video. So we're gonna try this out, but I will try to keep you informed that you know what I'm using um, so that if you have any questions, hopefully I'll answer them for you. If not, you can always put them in the description below and I'll be sure to get back with you. So first, I am going to start off with a clean face and to get started, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a bit more moisturizer. I feel a little dry in my T-zone, so I'm going to use the Embryo Lease. Very moisturizing. I'm just going to apply that here around my nose. All right, next I am gonna go in with my Spashbox Primer. So uh, right now during the summer, I really like to have a kind of an underglow type of glowing skin. So lately I have actually just been applying the uh, Gerard Cosmetics uh, Illumination Cream to my skin before I actually do uh, any concealing, any foundation. Next, I am going in with the uh, Derma Blend Cover Cream. It's not my color. This one is golden beige, so I have to mix it with another deeper concealer. I'm just using this to color correct. So anywhere that you have like this coloration. Um, you know, marks on your face. A lot of people use the orange color corrector or the green color to color corrector. Uh, I like to use something that's a little bit more close to skin tone so I don't have to charm foundation. As you can see, I like to use a lot of stuff with it because I just warm up the skin. Yesterday I had the pleasure of stopping by Ulta and I wanted to try the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick. All right, so I was able to pick one up. Um, for some reason they do not have all the shades in the Ulta, so this is uh, lovely. They have my shade, which is Mocha. So I'm going to play with this. So go ahead and. Apply. This is a beauty blender. And just blend that out. It seems out pretty well. And I'd say it is definitely more of a buildable foundation. All right, so after your foundation has been out, I am gonna go in with my Raftopian filler palette. And this is the Super Palette Warm. I'm going to stay out where I'm comfortable. And apply that there. Uh, and so the ideal face shape is, of course, oval. So um, I kind of like to go from the arch of my brow. And that's where I kind of highlight my face. Just to kind of achieve the
Alright, guys. I am really impressed by the uh, maybe mistake conditions. I really like the finish of it. It's a like a cream to powder matte finish kind of. So I like that. And I turned on the butt of the blender when I feel like I have an excess amount of product. What I see when we contour down a branch of our bones is that it's just not blended out correctly or we're using the wrong color. It's just too dark. So let's, you know, in 2018, let's make sure that we actually, because when you start at your brow, so it looks like it's a, uh, a natural gradient type of shadow, you know? And you just bring it down the bridge, you know. And remember that it's there when you blend it out, you know? That's an area that definitely needs to be uh, served. <laughs> so, just gonna use the beauty blender and tap that in, you know? Whatever you want to call it, 
the um, translucent powder, but it acts as a double barrier. You know, sometimes you get that under the eye area, so um, it just creases and powder starts to fall all into the little cake and the crusty. So um, just set up on the eye and use some pressed powder to kind of help set that thing on out. I am going to go in. And I like to mix some start start like Zerma Blend loose setting powder with a medium, medium set it, don't fret it in my eggs powder. I'm not too serious. I don't like all that, you know, extra. All that. So, right there. Just in the areas again. Kind of lock the concealer in place. A little bit up on the via. Oh, up, 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 up. A little bit up on the via. Right there. So. Alright. So, while that is going to um, sit for a little bit, but a little bit. We are going to the brows. And today, I am going to use the Anastasia Brow Pomade and Truffle Mix to do these brows. Now, sometimes it's a hit and miss with these brows because this is my best brow, you know, when I brush that thing out like that. Sometimes I just feel, you know, strong enough that I can just go out with a small brow. But this one, this one gives me trouble. Mm -hmm. She gives me trouble. So, don't judge me on my brows. One is going to be probably she popping. We'll see. You know? And, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, the first thing I kind of like to line the brow, the shape of the brow. Uh, light strokes that they just don't want to look like they can look all the way So now I know where I'm kind of with the brow. And I just make light strokes into the brow just to fill it in. You know, it comes together at the end. Just set what we already kind of laid down. Just I'm using um, the Makeup Shayla ColourPop Color Booming in the Boots Powder Highlighter. It's a really pretty color. Really pretty, like, peach, bronzy color. And I'm also using one of my all-time favorites, which is the MAC Golden Bronze. Be right here on the apples and white cheeks, you know? Right there. Ooh. And right there. I don't want to have a little but it knows. But it knows. Place to hard blush volume one. 
contour palette and it has these two colors that I love so much because they are really vibrant. You want to use a light, soft, you know, application, life soft hand when you're applying it because you could easily walk out with a liner of freaking. We don't want to do that today, not today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. So, start back there, bring that thing on forward, and add a little color to the cheeks. You see that? Let's see. All right. So there we are with the blush. So, back to the eyes cup. Um, and you see how that um concealer is just still sitting there. I don't like that, so we're gonna blend that out. My soft rub, Pink Pot by Up oh, Pink Pink. La la la. La la la. By Mac. That's me, my. And it just goes on evenly when I use this brush and not so, you know, thick. I just wanted to show you the two palettes that I've been working from today. This is and has easily kind of become my all-time favorite palette. This color pop deception palette. And everything that you have shared with us is amazing. So pop thick. Right cheek. Right cheek. gonna be like a nice, you know, summer's day type of look. I'm gonna go in with revenge. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with revenge. I'm gonna blow that out too, but you know, just kind of focus it up under placement. Thick. We're gonna go in with strength today. And what we gonna do? Pack that on our fingers. I'm gonna pop that right there. Boop! Did you see that? Pop that right on. You see it? And I like to blend it up into the colors because, again, this is not a very um, structured eye. Our ink lots. Focus oh, yeah. in glass number 77. So, so now we're gonna pop on this little um, lash situation. I will be using the Eiffel Lash 702. Mm -hmm. That one. So, the lash glue that I like to use is Sassy. Get this from your local uh, maybe beauty supply store. And it's eyelash that you want to stay away from. It's that good bond for your hair because it ain't the same. Mm -hmm. It ain't the same. And um, you don't want to leave your lashes on for, you know, days on end. Like, take them off. Get you a good glue and, and, and put them back on. Like, leave your eyes at rest. Pop this one. So this is the Colossal Big Lash. Uh, I don't know. Like it's, but anyway, it is the Maybelline New York Colossal Big Lash Volume. I'm going to pop that on my lashes. gonna go in up on the eye with the colors that we used earlier. 
earlier bit. The mascara back on the bottom of the lash. Oh, you see them. They there. She got a Press powder and this is the translucent powder in Earth Deep. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, you know, kind of set all of the face just to bring all of these, you know, different products together so that they, you know, come together as one. We're gonna leave as one and we wanna look like we're gonna sort off the goods. Uh, Mac Chestnut. Okay, you know what that is. Everybody know what Mac Chestnut is. So, as you can see, I'm kind of just filling in the corners of my mouth. And I'll start right there at the valley and make sure I'm out. And just bring it on down. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. Hey. Okay. And that's the same. And we're gonna go in with the ooh. Ooh. Mm. And then it, it's like a satin finish. And it's so pretty. Like, it's really, it's really for me. And I really feel like I want to be mad, but. Glowing. I'm gonna go in with my OM Glow spray in the uh, dark. Just miss that, you know. Miss that. And then I'm gonna go in with my Milani Make It Last uh, setting spray because we want it to, to last. Um, boom. Okay. All right. And people, this is it. This is the love. Can you get into it? Can you come? Can you get into it? I hope you guys enjoyed this little time with me. And um, I don't know if you'd like to see more tutorials where I'm actually speaking. Let me know. I, I don't know. Let me know. Give me the word. But it was fun and I hope you enjoyed this look. Um let me know what you like to see next in the comments. Um, you know, follow me on social media at Madison Sky M U A. That'll be me. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.